Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana and I wanted to share something. We were just walking around doing some videos and we came across something pretty, pretty cute. Look at this. I just found him. I'm going to nickname him Hoppy. Look at this. Do you see that little guy? Look at how cute that is. That is actually called the Woodhouse's Toad, and they're a toad that's pretty common here in Montana, pretty common here in Billings, and for some reason this year, they're everywhere. Their numbers are huge this year, and if you go outside, look in some brush, maybe you live by a field, something like that, you got a good chance of seeing these guys around because they have done very well. The moms have laid lots of eggs. In fact, little Woodhouse Toads, the moms, can lay upwards of 25,000 eggs at one time. Isn't that crazy? So when they hatch, and if they all hatch, that's a lot of baby toads. Now, as you can imagine, a lot of these little guys, sadly, they don't survive. Because as small as they are, a lot of things like to eat these guys. Birds love to eat them, so I'm going to make sure I put them under a nice tree when we're done. Uh, birds like to eat them, small mammals like to eat them, uh, even cats tend to eat these guys as well. But they are a cute little guy. Now, they are a toad, which is why they're not by any major waterway here, but they do need some sort of water nearby because, like all amphibians, they actually hatch in the water. They're tadpoles, and then these guys move more onto land when they're adults. So they don't need to be by a big body of water, but something, an irrigation ditch, maybe a small pond, something like that. Now, one cool thing about toads, I know we've talked about before, but I want to reiterate, is everybody thinks if a toad goes pee on you, you're going to get warts? Well, guess what? Not true. What happens is these guys, well, they do that if they're scared or what have you, and that's what happens, but you don't have to worry about warts. But one thing you do have to watch out for is on these guys, these little things that look like warts on them, they're called paratoid glands. That's a big word. Basically what that is, it's little like almost like little pores, little holes on their body that secrete a substance that helps keep their skin nice and safe from predators, things like that. It also helps keep them from drying out. But the thing is, is that those glands can secrete an oil that can cause some problems on your skin. So if you're going out finding toads, don't go licking your hands afterwards. Make sure you wash those hands and you're nice and safe. But do look for these guys because they are fun to see, they're fun to watch, and of course, if maybe if you're lucky, you might even find one of those big ones, which tend to be the mom or dad. So until next time, guys, I am Jeff the Nature Guy. I'm going to go ahead and put this guy down in the grass here and let him hop away and enjoy his life and hope that he doesn't get caught by a blackbird that's sitting up in this tree up here. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Until next time, guys, we'll see you real soon here at Zoo Montana.